Hey, folks, Turbine Guy coming back at you with my election series here in Orono, Minnesota, where I'm trying to interview all the candidates uh, for council and mayor to help you all better see who you have a chance and choice to vote for. Now, today's candidate is Orono Mayor Walsh. Mayor, what? what where'd he go? He's not, I, I could have sworn. No, no. He never even replied to my email. Now, at least his uh, cohort in crime there. Ms. Veach responded politely, declined it. But Walsh can't even be bothered to respond to say no. He just lets you hang out there. And of course, we know why Walsh and Veach both chose not to talk to the turbine guy and thus answer some questions for you. Is because they don't want to answer questions about what they've done unless they can control the narrative. And that's what they're not going to be able to do with the turbine guy. Just like with uh, Bob Thunheim, who's running for mayor. First question I asked him was a tough question. What, what was happening up at Orono Schools that got everybody so upset? I'd like to ask these guys some questions, too. Why are you spending all this money on the public works? Why uh, all this double the amount of money on a fire station? Why are you trying so hard to denigrate our neighbor Long Lake? And last but not least is why, oh, why, oh, why? Are you so insistent on abusing the criminal justice system to intimidate our residents into zoning compliance? But he don't want to answer that. Why would he want to answer that? What type of dic dictatorial or authoritarian leader wants to talk about how they're abusing the justice system to maintain their power or to squash their residents? But of course, Walsh doesn't want to answer any of these questions. Why? Because the answers don't help him. He would rather sit on next door and spam and spam and spam us without a chance for responding with comments. As I said, controlling the narrative, spam us with all his glory. Patting himself on the back, because I guess not many other people are. Well, Turbine Guy gave it a try. Ms. Veach refused to come up. Walsh refused to come up. None of you get to hear the real answers you want to hear. Why? Because they're too chicken, chicken, to talk to the turbine guy. Because you, you know why they're afraid of the turbine guy? Because of the questions I would ask and the answers I would be looking for. Now, I've had a few idiots out there try to claim that it would be a hostile interview, which is why, of course, they wouldn't do it. The only thing that would be hostile would be the questions that they might have to answer. And they don't want to have to answer those. They don't want to have to stand behind their own decisions. They want to keep making decisions and choices, spending your money as our taxes go up without any recourse. Well, thankfully we do have a recourse coming up in just a couple of weeks. And if the guy is too chicken shit to come up here and answer a few simple questions from the turbine guy, then you know what? He's too chicken shit to be mayor. Turbine guy, signing off.